It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 5th of November. I'm James Spann. We're expecting gradual clearing across Alabama later today. And the weekend looking good. Lots of sunshine with cold mornings. Here we go. This is the upper air look across the country early this morning. We have a trough digging down into the Gulf of Mexico. That'll be spinning up a surface load down there, and that's going to produce a lot of rain for the state of Florida today. Look at the radar early this morning. Widespread rain over the Florida Peninsula and maybe a few strong storms down there later today as well. But again, for Alabama, we will be dry. Temperatures this morning are mostly in the 40s, a few low 50s on the board. Highs today should be around 60. It all depends on the cloud cover. If clouds linger much of the day, we might hold in the 50s again. If the sun breaks out, we'll see low to mid 60s. But we do think the clearing process will be slow later today. There's the watch warning map. We still have freeze warnings in effect for much of Tennessee, parts of Arkansas, North Mississippi. And we're going to see some frost around here early tomorrow and Sunday morning in many places as the sky finally clears. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. There's a marginal risk over South Florida, mainly along and south of Interstate 4, as that feature in the Gulf of Mexico passes through. Then tomorrow, all is quiet across the country, and the same thing on day three. Rain for the next seven days. The heavier totals again for western Washington State and Oregon. And rain will come back for Alabama toward the end of next week. This is suggesting rain amounts for the northern half of the state between one half and one inch, lighter amounts down to the south. And once again, the Atlantic Basin, awfully quiet. Wanda, that system up in the North Atlantic, will become post-tropical by early next week, far from land. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run, valid today at 4. There's that trough down in the Gulf, and again, a surface low spinning up, producing a lot of rain for the Florida Peninsula today. But for Alabama, uh, again, clouds hopefully clearing later today. Understand it's going to be a slow process. I wouldn't be shocked at the clouds hang in much of the day today with highs between 58 and 62. And then tomorrow, a brighter day. Uh, the surface low is off the South Atlantic coast. For Alabama, the sky will be sunny. Now, in the morning, we're going to start today in the mid to upper 30s in many places with a chance of frost. So keep that in mind. High tomorrow should be in the middle 60s. And Sunday, same thing. We're going to start today mid to upper 30s. It'll be a cold morning with a chance of frost. The high Sunday, mid to upper 60s, nothing but sunshine. Monday, a beautiful day. High should be close to 70. Tuesday, sunny with low 70s. We're still dry Wednesday, and we're still dry Thursday. We've seen other runs suggesting there could be a few isolated showers, but no doubt the better chance of rain will be at the end of next week. This is Friday, the 12th of November. Big trough coming in and a cold front pushing a batch of rain, maybe some thunderstorms in here. And note that noticeably colder air north and west of that front. Let's go to the European. It's got a very similar look Friday of next week. A cold front coming in with a good chance of showers, maybe some thunder. Probably not severe weather with the main surface low so far north up around Duluth, Minnesota. We'll go out 10 days. This is Sunday the 14th. Back to the GFS. Very uh, deep trough on the east coast. And if that's right, we are dry and kind of cold with the uh, lower thickness values there. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean about one inch between now and the 19th of November. Temperatures recover next week after the uh, cold mornings over the weekend. We're expecting highs in the low 70s much of next week. The next pop of cold air comes in that following weekend on the 13th and 14th of November. And the latest CPC outlook, this is for November 12th through the 18th. Temperatures around here would be below average if this forecast works out. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, this is James Spann. I think one of the best parts of my job, getting to do weather programs in schools. During regular times, I'm in a school once or twice a day teaching students, mostly in elementary schools, things about weather and science. It's a really great part of my job. In fact, if I wasn't a television meteorologist, I would be a third grade science teacher. But one thing I've noticed over the years, some children, not all, but some, develop a genuine fear, a phobia of weather, especially thunderstorms and tornadoes. To offset that, I commissioned a couple of creative members of my family to write a series of children's books about weather. And the first one is out. Benny and Chipper, Be Prepared, 
not scared. Your kids will absolutely love Benny the Bear and his best pal, Chipper the Beagle Dog. It's a really good read about thunderstorms and tornadoes and how it's okay to be a little afraid, but you don't have to be really afraid. As long as you're prepared, you understand them, you know what to do, and you take care of yourself. Information is very powerful, and that starts a process of kids overcoming that fear. And this book is a really good read for any elementary school student. My friend Ginger Z of ABC News in New York, the chief meteorologist there, wrote a forward here. Jeremy Davis, an illustrator, really makes Benny and Chipper come to life. It's a great read, and your kids will love it. I would encourage you to get a copy, and we'll have future books with Benny and Chipper about things like thunderstorms and the science behind them, tornadoes and hurricanes. So get your copy today. Right now it's available online at SpanBook, with two N's, SpanBook. Dot com. And you'll see some other cool stuff there as well. Benny and Chipper, prepared not scared. Get your kids a copy today.